my Jacob Boom Booms. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're having an amazing day. Amazing week so far. Today I want to do something a little different. We're not going to play around with makeup. I'm like really basic today and stuff because it's just like, why not? So I figured, why don't we do the Q&A today? So I went ahead um, and went through all the questions I got submitted via Instagram, the community page, within videos, and my channel members. I made a list. I don't want to make this video like too, 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 too long, because if not, like the amount of questions we got, it would be like 30 to 40 minutes long. And I feel like at some point we're all going to fall asleep. But I grabbed the ones that I feel like I see the most throughout the months, and we're going to go ahead and answer them. So let's dive on in. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I answer your questions. I know I get these a lot. So I'm hoping that these are questions that you guys all, like, you know, Know, you in particular are thinking and wondering about anyway shut the hell up daddy let's just go okay question number one do i miss working at a regular job hell no no and yes it's sometimes it's a 50 50. i do not miss taking on the burden of people who were slacking at the job being honest i was always so good at what i did if you didn't know i was a social worker i was providing services for the state of new jersey in Passaic County for people who were living with HIV and AIDS. And that's just what I did. So I had a state job and I was really good girl. And so what happened was I would finish my tasks. I'd be on top of it all. And if anything, I learned how to do my job and other people's jobs. So then other people needed help. And I was just taking on burden and it was a lot. So I don't miss that. I don't miss the office drama. I don't miss upper management ego. So those are, oh my God, the ego drives me freaking crazy. Don't miss that. But you know what I do miss? Vacation and sick days. Typically, typically, depending on what your schedule is, you take two days off. And with social media, you don't have that. With social media, remember your job is what makes you money. So if you don't post videos, you you may not get any new funds coming in. You may get some residuals from the old videos that people may potentially watch, but that's it. And so it sucks. Like I didn't get maternity leave. Like paid maternity leave? Absolutely not. When I go on vacation, I have to make sure that weeks before I'm working in advance. And that sucks. Cause I remember the days when I'd be like, I'm sick and I would just call out here. I could be, I've been in pain with my shoulder, my shoulder blade, all of this here. I'm still working. Cause I don't get sick days, man. I don't miss the regular job. I just miss certain per about the regular job that you don't think about until you no longer have it. Someone else said, how do you do it? How do I do? I'm gonna assume you're saying, how do I do? the social media, the taking care of the home, taking care of the kids. I just do. It's kind of one of those things where you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Um, social media is my job. I love it. I love it. It's a passion, but at the same time, it is a job. And so, like I was just saying, you could be sick, but you need to make sure you're meeting your contract deadlines and you're, you know, you're answering emails and you're doing what you need to do to run your business. And we don't even get sick days. So you just kind of have to suck it up. So how do I do it? I just suck it up. I just do. You know, it's like when a person has two kids and they're like, no, I can't have another one. And then next thing you know, you have the third one and people are like, how are you doing? And you're like, I don't know. I, I do, I'm just doing it. You're in the situation. You make the best of it. You suck it up and you put it forward and you just make the best of it. And I always make the best of it and have fun doing it. How did I start YouTube? Bueno, mija, that's kind of like, um, it's not a long story, but it kind of is, but it isn't. I was in a really low of the lowest depression modes in my life after having lost my son. Short version, don't feel bad. We've moved forward. My son would have been, what, 13 this year. I got pregnant. I had a stillborn in 2011. Yes, we named the child. I had to birth the child. We had to bury the child. He was the cutest little thing ever, full-formed baby. That's that. But I did fall on depression. My husband fell under depression and we turned to YouTube, which was kind of like new at the time. It wasn't what it is now. Turned to YouTube to just kind of find videos where people were laughing and joking. And it was just like people getting hurt and like that kind of stuff, like epic fails videos. And I bumped into Candy Johnson one day and I remember she was doing makeup and I was like, hmm. And I saw what she did and I was like, oh, that's intriguing. And I remember she cried in the video and I was crying with her like, oh my God. And so I was like, I could do that. And that's how I started buying makeup because I really didn't have a lot of makeup. I started dabbling around with makeup, opened up a YouTube channel because I was not in the be best place in my life. I was very negative and I was kind of nasty and mean towards people, which was not the, it was just not who I needed to be. And I own that young, naive, angry chip on the shoulder. It is what it is. We kind of grow from our experiences and mistakes, right? So close down that YouTube channel, get pregnant with Ty. After I had Ty, I was like, oh my God, I miss YouTube. But like, what would I do? And BoxyCharm had launched. And I remember signing up for BoxyCharm and seeing 
certain creators doing spoiler videos and just putting pictures and like voiceovers. And I thought it was so lame. I was like, this is not exciting. Like, yeah, I want spoilers. Yes, baby. It's not working. What's well, not working, mommy? Come here, I help you. It's in the wrong shoe, but okay. You got them backwards, mommy. She's got a hand on. She's ready for vacation. She's not playing. Right, babes? She said, I'm going to go to a vacation. <laughs> but yeah, so I remember watching those videos and just seeing pictures and voiceovers. And I was like, wait, this is so lame. I wasn't really sure how I was going to be posting that kind of stuff. It was just kind of like, I'll do a little review here, do a little review there, but nothing that I was like super excited over. And then Juan says to me, do you think you could do better than them? Hell yeah, I can. So he goes, well, what would you do differently? And I said, no, I would get in front of the camera. And I would be like, listen, here's the picture. This is the spoiler, ta-da-da, ta-da-da, and give you details and feedback on what I think, what the retail value is, what it's supposed to do. Should you be excited? Like I would do that because I would connect with people. There's no connection with a picture. Then he was like, so why don't you just do that? And I was like, fine. He goes, you think you can do it? I said, I know I can. That That's that's how it all went down. I did a review or two here and there, but nothing like, eh, like that serious until I started doing BoxyCharm spoilers my way. And then all of a sudden other people started doing the same thing. People started copying the whole BoxyCharm spoil. Now I'm going to do spoilers here, starting putting pictures on screen along with them doing the commentary, which wasn't done until I started doing it. And it was pretty cool. So that's how I got started, kind of. Yeah. Because the little reviews here and there, it was cute. It was all fun. It was awkward. It wasn't like me letting myself be me, you know? Um, but that's kind of like how it all started. Tips on starting a YouTube channel. I've also seen people say like, I have been stopping myself. I'm overthinking it. Like I have all these reasons why I'm not doing it, but it's maybe me getting ahead. Like in, like stopping myself from doing it basically. Yeah, it's you. It is you. I've said this before. I'm going to say it again. Everyone has the ability. I don't care how old you are. Everyone has the ability. You could be in your 60s and you can still post videos, upload. You know why? Because you are part of a community that can relate to you. Everyone has a target population. Your population would be 50s and 60s. That it's all about your personality too. Some people like people who are hyper like me and animated, but then there's people who like people who are just kind of mellow and toned down. You will find your people because we all have our people, but you won't find your people unless you press that record button. And yes, it is awkward. Yes, it is hard. And yes, you're not gonna get views. Most of your views are gonna be you and family members at first. You will be that needle in the haystack. And it sucks because it doesn't feel good. Like I put all this effort in, I wanna see if anyone sees it. And then technically no one really sees it. But if you keep it pushing and you keep going and learning and doing better, you will have people and you will have people comment and you will have subscribers and you will build yourself a platform for sure. Press the record button, buy drugstore stuff, do reviews, don't take yourself too seriously, try to have fun. No one's perfect when they first click the record button. No one. She said, do you want to be, a, do you want to build a snowman? I heard you. Hi. So the biggest tip is press the record button. The saddest and the realest tip is no one's gonna see your stuff and that's okay. This is the best time to practice when no one sees your stuff. You don't wanna make mistakes and you don't wanna look like an amateur with a thousand subscribers. 500 subscribers, two, three, four, 5,000 subscribers. You wanna be an amateur when no one's watching your stuff. Put all your effort into learning and progressing so when you start building, you're following, you're only getting better, not worse. How do I get PR from, why am I still holding this pen? How do I get PR from brands? Well, I started off very small, reaching out to certain brands. That didn't work out, I got a hella nose. You have to build yourself a portfolio. So yes, if you're gonna post on Instagram, make sure you're posting your content, whether it's your thumbnails, whether it's a quick little review on, hey, oh my God, this is absolutely amazing and this is why. And you don't have to be a professional. Show people how it is that you apply lashes. Maybe your way works for so many people and you might help some people learn an easier way to apply lashes. Just applying makeup on yourself is more than enough, but you have to start somewhere. And once you've done that and you've built a little bit of a portfolio, if you will, go back to reaching out to brands. So I started off by signing up with uh, different platforms and reaching out to brands. And then eventually 
as I built my following, brands found me, which is absolutely amazing. And I do have to credit Rhonda because Rhonda has been fantastic. So there are brands that she has suggested me to, and then they have reached out to me and put me in their PR, which I was not expecting, but she's a real friend and I love her. And you, you know, if you network with other content creators that you vibe with, like on a real level, and you can help each other out, there's never anything wrong with that. But you always have to give credit where credit is due because that's the right thing to do. This question, your kids, are adorable. Do you want to have any more? No. No, me, I have no. Cam is entering the terrible threes, okay? And I'm sore and aching and paining. I wake up and just getting up from bed, I have parts of my body that clickety clack, okay? There's no reason why my wrist snapped first thing in the morning, my shoulder clicked, my ankle clacked. It's no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm I'm I promise you I'm good. Um, not that I could anyway, because in my vlog channel I shared with you guys that I removed, like I literally had the surgery right after they did my C section. I had the surgery to remove my fallopian tubes because we're not doing that. Have there been situations where there's been a magical situation? Sure. I don't want one of those magical situations. I pray on it all the time, but I will tell you, I, I think I'm okay. I'm very blessed with my kids. I think I have a lot. I have enough to handle right now. I think I'm okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is next? Well, I don't know what you mean by what's next. Um, So no more kids. We know that. I, I, I'm good with two. What's next for you two? I, I don't know. I feel like the beauty buzz recap is something that will evolve. Putting it out into existence, it'll evolve into something amazing. Um, I'm already vlogging, so I'm working on the vlog channel as well. I want, I want to ultimately, as I get older, still be doing what I'm doing and giving you guys tips and tricks as we are aging, because we're all kind of like in this together. So I definitely want to do that. But I also want to do like a lifestyle and like hauls and stuff like that over at my vlog channel. See, it these are things that no matter what your age, people can really you know so I, I'm good there so I'm looking at the future of my YouTube channel and I want it to be something that's real and you guys could relate to just in general whether it's vlog or beauty that said we are currently working and I say we because we we are working on future collabs you know and yes it's harder than I thought it was gonna be I mean, certain things came easy. Other things are hard. Whatever it is, I can't tell you, but whatever it is, I hope you guys love it. If you liked my collab, my Project Influencer collab with Ofra, I think you're going to love what's coming next. That's all I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to say. Have you had bad experiences with other YouTubers? Ay, Dios mío. Yes. Yes. You know, but these bad experiences were all, I'm going to tell you when I first started YouTube, I remember I had like a hundred subscribers and there were other content creators because now they're not YouTubers, you know, they're content creators who were older than I was. So I think they had this whole ego of like, I'm older, I'm smarter. I don't know. So they were older and had more subscribers. There were people at 400, 500 and 600 subscribers, whereas I was only at a hundred. And I did kind of like link up with them through a friend that I had made over on YouTube as well. And so she was friends with them. And so she kind of pulled me into the group kind of but that didn't necessarily work out because i am me and i am not a follower i'm not a leader i'm not a follower i am a loner and i'm good with making friends but i am not okay with people telling me what i need to do and how they want things done when it's my channel and it was all women which is crazy because they were older women and they were acting like they were in high school and it was very much well i have more followers than you but i know what i'm doing and you don't and i'm sitting back watching all of this happen in a group chat well i've been doing this longer than you have or this was my idea so it's gonna be my way or i don't want you in it it was just the, the cattiness and the ego behind it it was kind of sad in that group no one was real friends and no one was loyal to one another everyone was being catty and talking crap behind each other's back and i did not like that and i stayed out of it because it had nothing to do with me i was kind of like the outsider but before i even made my way and someone did try to approach me and i had to remind people like we are nobodies on youtube at this point and you have an ego it's Biz, it was bizarre to me. And at that point, I literally blocked everyone. I told them I want nothing to do with them. And that was it. Now, again, this was years when I first started YouTube. And then I was very selective with my friends. I was very like selective with who I chose to let into my personal life. I was very selective just in general. And at this point, my circle is extremely, extremely small. And you know what? I like it that way. We're good. Well, just in case anyone wants to ask, 
where are those people, Nana? I don't know. Once I've moved on, I move on. I don't revisit. I don't worry. I move on. But there's no animosity. I'm not mad at anyone. I just, I, I'm glad I got out of that situation when I did. How did I start off as a makeup artist? Well, piggybacking off of what I said about learning from Candy Johnson, I learned so many tips, so many tricks from her. Then I found Jacqueline and I was like, oh, okay, like this is cool. I can do this. And once I had enough makeup, I was like practicing on my own and all of that. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to sign up for beauty school and so I did so when I say practice makes perfect practice makes perfect and I promise you you do learn but you learn way more when you're out in the field and like in real life and we keep learning okay we, no one knows everything new product launches new tools makeup evolves just like we do so you never know everything no one ever knows anything so don't feel bad if you're learning now because we may be at different levels but everyone's still learning oh and how long i've been doing this um seven eight years something like that do i miss new jersey no no i love my palm trees i do miss certain family members for sure i miss knowing every single street the back streets the roads i miss certain restaurants there are certain things i miss my mom's over there now my dad's still over there um i have sisters over there but i love florida what i visit eh, yeah you know for like a weekend but i love florida i love my palm trees i love the weather I love the fresh air. I love that there's so much that we could do here. So it's kind of like missing Jersey would probably be like a 30%, but it's only because of certain things, you know? Someone asked if I can do classes and teach you guys how to do certain things. I've been considering doing lives probably on Instagram where I can like chat with you guys and maybe show you guys how I would apply lashes and do it live. That way you can see how it is that I'm doing it. You guys can prepare, do it while I'm doing it. And then if you guys need little tips and tricks, you would just comment it and I would try to answer. I'm hoping I can start that at some point this summer. I'm being real honest right now. I'm dealing with this shoulder chest back situation I'll be going on vacation I'm coming back cam is where she's at and she can be very difficult I'm waiting for our schedule to kind of settle down and then I would love to do once a week alive maybe on Sundays you know I'm just really trying to get my stuff together because life is hectic but you guys already know that because I'm always saying that I hope that I touched on you know topics and our questions that you guys were curious about I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that if you're interested in creating content opening up a YouTube channel I hope that it, that that you got something out of it I promise you that once you kind of get past that Fear, judgment of yourself, and that hurdle of creating a platform for yourself and finding your people. It's one of the best jobs you'll ever have. All right, guys. Now you know I can't go anywhere without saying hello and thank you to our channel members, the G Squad. This amazing group of people have joined channel memberships and are supporting the channel at a higher level. In doing so, they have unlocked exclusive perks like YouTube, providing them with a badge and highlighting all of the comments under my videos. Additionally, they have access to some perks like uh, extra giveaways ways a private community page and a little more like polls and stuff like that that i provide if you're ever interested in joining channel memberships all you need to do is hit the join button below and you are good to go now just because the video is over doesn't mean you need to go anywhere don't worry youtube is going to go ahead and recommend your next video here based on your watch history however i'm going to recommend additional beauty content i think you're going to enjoy so i hope you consider checking it out and i will see you on the next video bye guys